I keep hearing stuff in my house. Hi guys, so I did some shopping at Target. I got a lot of good stuff. And I've had this stuff sitting on my chair for about two or three weeks. And I've, I have used some products, but not all of them. So I'll kind of give you my um, thoughts on it. I got stuff from NYX, um, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, and just a bunch of good stuff. And I decided to film it for you guys because who doesn't want to see a drugstore? Like, am I the only one that loves drugstore makeup? And yeah, this makeup that I bought has been collected, in the, like I said, in the past two weeks. So I didn't just buy all of this at once because that would have been a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with foundation. I got three foundations. Um, I have a lot of foundation but I haven't tried these and I wanted to give them a shot because I've heard great things about these two but not, I don't know, I've never heard of this one but I decided to pick it up because it was cheap. So the first one I got <clears throat> is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation. I've heard so many people here on YouTube talk about this and everyone seems to love it. I honestly don't know why I picked it up because it is a matte foundation and I am very dry during the summer. No matter how much I moisturize, I am like really dry but I mean I used it today for the first time and so far I really really like it. The coverage is amazing. It's a medium to full coverage and I think the color I got matches me very well. At first when I saw it I was like oh I think I might have gotten one that was too dark but once I applied it it was the right color. And for the formula since it is a matte foundation, I found that when I apply it to a certain spot on my face to work that in first, like work in sections, I found that it doesn't really spread a lot. Like you really have to use a lot of pumps to get at least one side of your face. Well, that's how I found it to work for me. So I used about two or three pumps on this side and I tried to work it out to this side so I won't waste a lot of product, but it just didn't seem to work for me. Um, but I really don't mind because so far this foundation is amazing. The next foundation I got is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish. Um, I've never really heard people talk about this, but I decided to pick it up because it wasn't that expensive. And I love trying out new foundations no matter what. And I've tried, I tried this when I first purchased it. And the coverage is really good. Um, it's medium to full coverage um i don't know if it lasts 25 hours because to me like i was wearing it for about six hours and around the third hour i already found it to be like fading and not really staying on my face so that's a thing that i didn't like about it but yeah the color is really good it matches me well as spf 20 i don't really get a lot of foundations that have spf in it i don't know why i just find them to be a little weird in pictures but Whatever, so I picked this one up and so far it's good. I mean, <laughs> it's alright. The next foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me and I got the shade 120. I've tried the Maybelline Fit Me, the matte and poreless one or I don't know, I think that's what it's called. And I really, really, really like that one just because the coverage is amazing. Although it is a matte foundation and I'm very dry, it doesn't make me look dry or flaky. It gives me a really nice coverage. So I really wanted to try this one out. This is just a regular one. I haven't tried this one, so I'll let you guys know what I think about this one. So next, I got two concealers. I love concealers. I don't know why. I got the Maybelline New York, the Master Conceal, and I got mine in 30 Light Medium. And... I've tried this already and so far I really 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 love it because it is very thick and it does it but it doesn't crease like I don't find this concealer to crease under my eyes I think I want to go get another one because this one's really really good next I got the Maybelline instant age rewind I also heard many a lot of people talking about this concealer and they say that it works really well for them and they love the application I used it today and the color is really really good like it's not too pale it's not pink it's not like yellowy toned it's just like that perfect color and 
I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got mine in 150 neutralizer. I don't know. At first, when I opened this, I thought I got a broken one because I was twisting and twisting and twisting it and nothing was coming out. And I was like, really? But after a while, it does, a lot does come out and it's very, um, it's not so thick and it's not so sheer. That, so that's why I really like it. And the sponge application, like, I just love the feeling of it under my eyes. So... I got that one. So the next product I got is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi, the light infusing primer. I don't really use like illuminating primers just because I'm a little bit scared of them. I wasn't sure how to use this. Like I was like, what the heck do I do with this? Do I put it all over my face? Like if it was like a BB cream or something? Or do I just prime my face with it and it gives me some like sheer it gives me like a sheer look I was like a little bit afraid to try that so what I do is I mix I add two pumps to my foundation and I add it to my face and oh my god it gives me such a nice glow especially with the matte foundation I've used this with my Maybelline matte in poreless one it gives me this like beautiful glow to the face so they do have two other ones or another one I'm not sure one is a rosy pink and then the other one is like more of a bronzy one. So I got the lightest one. I don't know. This is just like pearly white. Um, It's just like really, really white. And when you first look at it, it does look like it has a little bit of sparkles on it. But once you work it out, you can't really tell. But yeah, it just makes my skin look very healthy and glowy. So that's why I really, really like this. So... Next, I just got a NYC liquid liner because I love this eyeliner. I got per Pearlized Black. And I got two of these. And when I opened the first one to try it out, I noticed that it had, like, glitter in it. So it was black with white glitter. And I was like, okay, what the heck? So I went back and I grabbed the, um, just the plain black one. But I still kept the Pearlized Black because it looked really pretty. But at first I was like, okay, I wanted a full black one. I have four of these now. Two in, paralyzed, two in paralyzed black and two in just regular black. So I got two things from Wet n Wild and one from NYX. I'll start off with the NYX one. The NYX, I got a baked blush in the color... What the heck? I don't know what the heck this... Is this chiffon? Chiffon? I don't know what the heck this blush is called. But... I liked it because the other ones were too hot pink for me. I'm not into hot pink. This one's really like a mauve rosy color. It's really pretty and it gives you a really glow effect to your cheeks. It does have tiny, tiny little sparkles in it, but I think it looks really pretty, especially during the summer. It gives you that nice glow and color, so I really like this one. So from Went Wild, I got this um, bronzer from the Fergie line. And I saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's really pretty. I'm going to buy that. So I got it in Rose Golden Goddess. They have one that's like a really, really pink one. And then I think that's, I'm not sure if they have more, but those are the ones I saw in store. But this one caught my eye because it's perfect for the summer. It is like super, super glowy and bronzy. I don't know if you can see that, but it is so freaking pretty. I like how it looks, so... I'm going to pack this shit on during the whole summer. I don't know if this is a bronzer or a highlighter. It doesn't say it, but I use it as a highlighter. Because I feel like it's too shimmery for a bronzer, so I use it as a highlighter. The other thing from Wet n Wild is this contouring palette. And I got mine in the color Dulce de Leche. I saw this and I was like, hey, I've been trying to look for a good contour color that's not too like bronzy, like goldeny. And this one has a lot of gray tones to it, so I really, really, like, wanted to get it. And it also has this white side, like, to set your concealer or just to like, set your whole face. But yeah, I really like how this contours my face. When I want to go for that really, really, like, harsh contour, I take the white color and I just make a line right here just to clean up my, my bronzer line. And it leaves it looking really, really pretty, so... So I'm really excited about this one because I love eyeshadows. <laughs> so I got the Maybelline The Nudes and I haven't opened this so let me go ahead and open it. I know they have some that are like for $20 but I was like girl $20 for an eyeshadow palette at the drugstore? Like 
no thank you. So I just went with this one. This one's about like 13 I think. That's how much I got it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it's just a perfect nude palette from the drugstore. Yeah, I do feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this because the colors are really, really pretty. So, who knows? Maybe I might film a makeup look for this with using this. So I got three eyeshadows from L'Oreal and these are their infallible eyeshadows. They're like a pressed formula and I got three because I saw them and I was like, oh my god, they're so pretty. The first one I got was, is called Eternal Sunshine. This color, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty. Because I don't have anything this golden colory. So that's what it looks like. And it is just so freaking pretty. Like, that's like the perfect gold color for the summer or for like... Whatever makeup look you want to use with gold. I love these because they're not chunky at all on your eyelids. They're so creamy, so smooth, so buttery. And I was surprised because I honestly thought I had to work it up to get like the perfect color. Like what it looks like right here. But no, like it's really pigmented and it's super, super pretty. So the next ones I got were Amber Rush and Iced Latte. Ooh, makes me want to go to Starbucks. <laughs> iced Latte is a very iced white, but it has a little bit of pink in it. And it's super pretty as well. I'm just a sucker for sh like shimmery eyeshadows. Mm, I don't know if you can see, but it's really, really, really pretty. So this one is Amber Rush. And this one is more of a really coppery um bronzy I don't know I'm bad at describing colors but this one is so pretty it's very very coppery <clears throat> and I don't have any like shadows that are copper like copper copper and when I saw this I was like oh my god I need to get that oh my god it is so pretty I love it if you want to see a makeup look with any of these shadows just comment down below, girl, and I will do it. So yeah, those are the three eyeshadows I got from L'Oreal. Super pretty. I'm excited for these. So my last items are lipsticks. I got a lot just because they're not. these were not expensive at all. I mean, Wet n Wild is not expensive, and NYX is not expensive as well. So I'm going to start off with the lip liner. I got a lip liner from L'Oreal. They're color-rich lip liners. And I, this one is in Always Red. So it's just your basic red lip liner. And I forgot how much this one was, but obviously they're a lot cheaper than MAC lip liners. Honestly, these lip liners are so creamy. Like, they're not drying at all. And I expected them to be drying because sometimes lip liners at the drugstore aren't not that good. But this one was so buttery. Like, when I put it on my lips, I was like, oh my god, this glides on so smooth. And the color is really pretty. This is what I'm wearing as a lip liner today. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting more of these because they're so creamy and really, really pigmented. So I got three lipsticks from Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild because their lipsticks are awesome and they're not expensive at all. They're like $1.40 CVS that I go to. And so the first one I got is Juicy Peach. And this one is a really rosy, peachy, mauvey color. It's so freaking pretty. So that's what it looks like right there. The next one I got is in Carrot Gold. And like the name says, it's a very orange carrot color. It's so pretty. Like these are definitely my go-to summer lipsticks. Just because, you know... They look very summery, girl. And the last one I got, it doesn't have a name on it. But it's a very maroon color. Like a cranberry plummy color. This one is so freaking beautiful. Like, I love this one. That's what it looks like. It's very pink cranberry plummy color. And I'm definitely going to be wearing this one a lot. I just absolutely love these Wet n Wild lipsticks. I'm going to go see what other colors they have because, girl, they're so good. So next, I got two lip creams from NYX. 
and I've never tried these before. They have a lot of nudes, they have a lot of pinks, they have a lot of browns, and these two are the ones that stood out to me the most. Um, this one is called In Istanbul. Istanbul? I don't freaking know. But it's this very rosy, rosy pink color, very mauvey. How people say everything is it's a very mauvey color. I like the color. And then the next one is called London, and this one is a very brown, nudie color. I really, really like this one because this one's more of my color. When I tried these on, I found that they were. Oop! Girl, my bad. So when I tried these on, I did find that they're very um, creamy and buttery, and they go on the lips very well, like very, really, really, really creamy. But the only thing that I didn't like is that I had to build it up in order to get like that vibrant color that it comes off as. And I found myself applying maybe two or three coats of this. So I put on the first coat, and I noticed that you could still see my lips like my natural lip color through it and I thought I was like ew these suck but I let it dry for a little bit and then I went ahead and applied another one and just to make it a little bit more vibrant I added a third one and after that I thought they looked it looked really really pretty and they're not sticky they're not drying they're very creamy like how it says it's a lip cream Duh. but yeah these are really really good what are these Mm. So the first one is from Maybelline and it's their, these are their new matte lipsticks and I've never tried these and I always see them in the store but I never really like was like oh my god I need to get those lipsticks. I decided to try out one that's why I didn't buy a lot of them because I'm not sure how I would like them but this one is in the color Craving Coral. I'm obsessed with corally lips. This is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It looks red. I don't think it looks coral at all. I don't know why it does look corally. On my lips it looks red. Hmm. But I didn't really mind because the color is really really pretty. The next one is from Raymol and you guessed it. It's another coral lipstick. I just can't get enough of coral. And this one is called In Love With What? Oh In Love With Ginger. I'm not sure I'm in love with ginger, but I'm in love with this lipstick. I feel like they're the same. Like this one and the Maybelline one are the same. This one's just not matte. This one is. This one isn't. This one's really sheer. These are really creamy as well. All my lipsticks I got are really creamy. This color is beautiful and these were not expensive at all. I think this, these were like $5, which is pretty good versus like the MAC ones that are like hella expensive. I only own one MAC lipstick. The rest of my lipsticks are drugstore because... You can never go wrong with drugstore lipsticks. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and didn't find it boring. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what kind of video you would like to see next. And I would be happy to film it for you. But yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You fucking scared me. Oh my god. Ugh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh.